An open sandbox game with different playstyles from all over the world. You will face a new strategy every single time you set sail. But how do you keep up and how can you survive? In short, you cannot. But you can aim towards the top. And that by itself is a victory. Let me explain. If you lose, you have learned how to become better. And if you win, you have been rewarded for your decisions. This is your ultimate guide on how to identify your enemy before approaching. If you understand what to look at, you are always one step ahead. And hold on, do not subscribe yet. Just like approaching a distant ship, you have the right to know your video. And by the end of this guide, if you grant me your sub, then I have earned your support. Lights, direction, anchor, and much more. These are your enemy's personality. I am going to show you examples of ship analysis, some scenes from my Twitch streams, and others were off-stream footage. It is different in what to look at depending on the enemy's situation, as you cannot simply look at a ship in the distance. You have to read between the lines. I use two different sets of indicators when seeing an enemy within range, a parked ship and a moving ship. These help me get into the player's mind and get a hint of their plan. Allow me to demonstrate. Parked ship. Let's say there's a ship on an island. You have to know what to expect before getting there, as this by itself is winning half the battle. This one is not completely new, he's somewhat learning. No figurehead, basic sails. Reaper sails. He looks like he's AFK, he looks like he's standing in the middle deck. He's doing telltales. He's doing telltales. Hello. We're not here to attack. Hello. How are you? Good luck, man. Tell tales. No worries, no worries. Best of luck. No, no, we're not gonna attack. We're just sailing around. Yeah, he's he's still learning. Anchored he's somewhat down, sails new. Down. Sails. If they are dropped, this means the ship is anchored. So approaching them from a direction that is out of their cannon range is the right strategy. They will get pinned and probably not have time to raise the anchor to fight back, which is an indicator for bad planning from their side, showing a less skilled pirate. Lights. If all lights are on, another indicator that this is a new player, or most probably a less experienced sailor, since the lights are calling out other ships, indicating a player who is not yet aware of the surroundings. Direction. Being prepared for a quick escape is a great factor in countering a sudden attack, as if the ship was facing the island, it means they anchored upon approaching at a high speed and did not think of readjusting in case of an invasion. This indicates unorganized navigation skills. So this guy is anchored, he's parked in a way that he U-turned. We're heading at speed to the island, like he went like this, then he anchored and U-turned. Another new player. If you are a new player and watching this video, there is nothing wrong if you do any of the mentioned earlier, as this video helps you prevent mistakes to get better. Cause most times an enemy sinks, it's due to their own fault. These are the basic points that normally show player skill. If you see a ship with sails raised, lights off, and most probably parked parallel to an island, this is someone with a decent amount of skill, as when they park, they carefully approach the island, pre-planned in case of getting attacked, and turned all lights off to minimize their chance of being spotted by other ships. With both player types mentioned above, you can add up the do's and don'ts of the ship's personality to predict the skill level of a player. Usually, it is a mix of both. So collect these different traits and use your judgment to predict your enemy. Now, what if the ship was sailing? In this case, you have to look at two things. Are their sails angled in the right direction? Are their lights on? If sails are angled in the right direction and lights are off, then you should be a bit more prepared than approaching a new player, as a new player will most probably be in default or low-level cosmetics, unangled sails, and all lights are on. 
Ship cosmetics are the last thing I look at, as I have seen pirate legend ships that have no idea how to sail, and at other times I met default ships that wrecked havoc in the seas. These are usually high level players in disguise. There are more advanced ways of analyzing ships, by noticing their behavior in the seas. It all comes with practice, so I cannot cover everything in this video. But you are always welcome to join my live streams to learn more. For example, take a look at this clip from my live stream where I analyzed the sloop fighting a kraken. This was an experienced sailor, Karali, a streamer friend that I already knew, and she has been sailing the seas for a very long time. Alright, so you have your sails angled right, and you are, you should hit the face, the face on the left, it's wrapped around you man, yep, now he's gonna unwrap, yep, perfect, that player is alright, they raise sails, they are not new. How are you? I knew it must be a streamer. Only streamers have Actually, I just thought of it. She said, hey, Jackie. How would you know my name? <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. How's it going? <laughs> Some other things you can look at. For example, this ship is parked by a fort right next to a tower. Now these towers usually have kegs in them, and even if they don't, you can still easily board the ship from an unexpected entry point. And this is a sign of lower skill. Ways to analyze enemies are endless, and we learn more and more every day as soon as we raise the anchor. You can always ask me questions on my live streams, as when I sail, I comment on my progress, about why and how did I plan things in certain ways. My link is in the description below. If you think this video is helpful, click on the subscribe button and let me know that my channel is worth your time. If not, please leave a comment below with your feedback so I can learn from you. Thank you for watching and happy sailing! What did you just do? What I'm saying? What did you do? How many outcomes was he expecting from that?